Alright, so since Andy thought he would be funny, I'm going to go ahead and start uh, Spelunky. So, this is a roguelike platforming game that is hard as shit. Way harder than The Binding of Isaac. I've beaten The Binding of Isaac way more times than I've beaten this game. Um, I have had a few, uh, a few um, wins. Uh, but uh, I'm going to show you guys just how hard this game is. I know quite a bit of tricks and everything uh, for this game, but uh, I'm going to show you guys how it's done. So, Sp Spelunky is extremely adorable, but it's, uh, it's brutal. It's a, it's a very brutal game. I did change it, man. I changed it to Spelunky. Alright, so we're going to go ahead and start in the caves. That's exactly where you start every time you uh, venture off into this game. So you're kind of like a little Indiana Jones guy. And uh, your goal is to collect as much money as you can from each level and then buy uh, whatever you can from the shops. Because trust me, you're going to need that money. If I can get... I did not say, no, I would not say Jew Indiana Jones. He's little and adorable. And Well, I mean, I guess you are saving money and every, I don't know. I, I just don't know. All right, so I want to throw a bomb there because hopefully there's going to be some bombs in that box. There's not, there's a camera and that's absolutely fucking useless to us. It's okay though. I'm going to go ahead and kill that bat. Rescue this honey right here. Oh shit. That's cool. It's all good. Drop on that homeboy. Alright, we're going to set off both arrow traps just by dropping this block. Okay, looks like they've already been set off, so we're good. Now, by gripping a ledge, you uh, kind of minimize fall damage. I'm going to throw this bitch, or I'm sorry, this lady. And we didn't avoid damage right there, which sucks. I'm sorry, we threw that lady and uh... Alright, so we just saved her, grabbed a rock, and now we're continuing on to the next level. This game is hard as hell. I've beaten it probably about 25 times, and I've died, I'd say, at least 700 times because... Oh god. Yeah, these... Oh, God. These monsters are brutal. Oof! God! Alright, so we saved this uh, Oriental girl. And uh, we're going to uh, we're gonna see what else this cave has to offer. It's extremely easy to die in this game. Now that we have a machete, we can uh, chop webs, which is great. And I believe it kills... Kills quite a bit of enemies uh, fairly quickly, so. Nothing there. I mean, we could pick up the spike boots, but we don't really want to. And whenever you pick up a, a vase or pot, you want to throw it away from you. But, oh God, this bitch just picked up my, my sword. You don't want to be next to the pots because, uh, <laughs> because, uh, there could be monsters in there, so you just want to be careful about that. So we're going to grab this little pug, this little adorable pug, and this rock. Because if you rescue, if you rescue the damsel, at the end of every level they give you a kiss, and that gives you a hit point, and you're going to want that. I know that lady was Caucasian, but this lady right here is Asian. Her eyes are very squinty. Now I threw a rope up here, and as you can see that gave us some bombs. Now what I like to do with my pro skill is kind of aim the bombs to where they stick in the webs. So when you blow up those big spiders, because they have a ton of hit points, when you blow up those big spiders, what you're going to get is a paste right there. So what that paste does is it gives you sticky bombs, and I just took avoidable damage that was... Uh, 
Oh, that was embarrassing. Hmm. Damn it. I could have avoided that too. See how a monster was in there? I uh, could have taken some damage, but I'm not going to. Now this game is a roguelike, so every time you play it, uh, the layout changes. Every time. Oh my god! Ugh, I was trying to hit that bastard with a rock, but I did not. Alright, so we're going to start this again. Venture back into the caves. We're going to go this go about this a little bit faster because uh, I've kind of explained some things to you guys. Oh my god. Try to miss some of that avoidable damage. I'm not showing off my pro skill here. Oh my god. This is embarrassing. Oh god. Alright, I got this. You, you're a roguelike. Alright, so I'm going to drop this, this little pot right here because I know the arrow trap's going to go off. So we can reveal what's inside and also avoid damage. Jump on the bat because we have pro skill. Throw that arrow, set off that arrow trap. Alright, cool. Next level. Damn it. Missed that guy. That's cool. You have to watch out for some of those uh, piles of bones because they reanimate and they will do damage to you if they touch you. This bat's gonna... Alright, so we got a cute little pug. See that right there? That douchebag? I'm gonna jump on him to where he can't hurt us anymore. Now I threw the pug into the uh, the pots because if there are enemies, and he's dead, if there are enemies in them, uh, he'll destroy them like one hit, which is awesome. So since Andy's played a lot of uh, fighting games, he knows about uh, this game relies on a lot of like frames and everything. So if you know like how to get it just right, you can kill an enemy without surprising them or avoiding them, and then and therefore not taking any damage. All right, cool. Let's do this round three. Um, I don't know if we got the. Um, the golden key. I always shoot for the golden key. Oh my god. Alright, so since we have the uh, the jetpack here, what we're going to want to do is get enough money to... Uh, we want to get enough money to buy that. By any means necessary, because that is like the best thing that you can get uh, in this level. And I believe the price is about, uh, damn it. Oh my god, I'm dead. See that? See how easy it is to die? Whatever. I haven't played this game in years. Alright, whatever. I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to try to uh, pro skill this.
I'm gonna drop the rocks. It's gonna set off the arrow trap because we don't want to take damage from that. You see how I kind of uh, gripped the ledge right there? That's uh, that's also pro skill. You want to be extremely careful when navigating these spikes because you don't want to accidentally jump on them. I'm going to set off that arrow trap. Also reveal what that box is. Hopefully it's got some goodies for us. Alright, that's parachute. And we have a nice, beautiful man right here that's going to give us a big sloppy kiss when we're done. Kill that bat. Oh, you bastard. All right, here we go. Was this level two? Yeah, it is. See how I set that off? I didn't take any damage. Again, pro skill. You can also pick up rats and little creatures and stuff like that. You can't do any, uh, see you can't do any damage. I can take damage. You can't do any damage to enemies with them, but they will absorb any damage that you would take from an arrow trap which can totally save your life. All right. Hopefully we got some bombs here. We have like quite a bit of them. Oh, freeze gun. Hell yeah. So when you freeze an enemy, you can jump on them and then like eradicate their asses. I'll throw the rope up here and freeze this bad boy. Look at that paste. So far we have a uh, fairly good run going. Hopefully I won't ruin it. Alright, let's do this. We are going through this game. I'm not saying I'm doing this, we're doing this. And he said that was a pro tip for streamers. Watch out for that dude. Jump on him. bro what's up oh god yep I'm dead dead because this game is hard as fuck it's ridiculous I would like to beat it though I would like to beat it for you guys I want to beat it in front of you guys alright cool Spectacles, that's cool. Alright, so, so far, the, uh, we didn't get, what I like to do is just try to aim for at least, uh, 10,000 gold per level, and we did not reach that target, uh, last level so this level would have to be great for us to continue oh god damn it
All right, so what we just got was the uh, Uda Jet Eye, which is awesome. It's going to allow us to see the uh, black market whenever, uh, sorry, doggy, whenever uh, we get to the jungle. And trust me, you are going to want that because that's where all the good stuff is. I should take both of those dudes out. Excellent. What's up, bro? That's cool. We did achieve close to 10,000 that level. And this game is not like Dark Souls, Andy. Oh my. Damn it. So I'm probably going to die. See, I'm dropping the damsel, the damsel right there, and throwing that bomb down. Even though it's gonna set things off, uh, I wanted to save her. So, duck. All right, see that? I call that a uh, a chain reaction. Oh my, that must be uh, Josh over there. Oh god, I'm dead. I'm dead. Alright. I'm gonna jump out of this real quick and uh, I'll probably jump onto another indie. So, whatever you guys wanna see, kind of let me know.